Number 35. From the given data, use a graphical method to determine the order and the rate constant of the following reaction, and then we have 2x yields x plus z. Okay, so we have this lovely data chart, which we have to use somehow to determine the order of the reaction and the rate constant. Now down here, I have written the three general uh, graphs and what they look like for zero order reactions, first order, and second order reactions. Now in my generalization here, I wrote down that A is the, um, the reactant. But in our specific case here, our reactant here is X. So for our case, it would be rate equals K. And remember, K is just the rate constant. And it's going to be times by the X value. Whoa, that's a little bit, that's a little bit, I don't know what happened there. There we go. And now it's going to be raised to some value. Now, they didn't necessarily say that this equation was an elementary step. If it was an elementary step, we can use those coefficients to say that this is definitely a second order reaction. However, we don't know if it is. So that's why we have to use our data. Now, in this case, um, we have to basically plug in this data to see which graph will give us a linear line. And if you hear my dog barking, Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? Somebody must have passed the house. <laughs> anyway, got to work through distractions, so let's go. What I like to do is I like to start off with zero order, and then I just kind of work my way up. Now, the idea here is that you're going to plot your X and Y axis to see if you get a linear line. If, in fact, we do not get a linear line, when we plot it, we know that it's going to be a zero order and you move on. And then if this doesn't work, well, then we say something nice and we say, this better be a linear line, right? Or else that means something went wrong in the first couple of steps. But let's see if we have a zero order reaction. Now they gave us time and they gave us concentration, right? Molarities. So if this is a zero order reaction, we have a time value as the x-axis, so the x-axis is always going to be the time, no matter whether you're talking about zero, first, or second order. The only difference is the y-axis, but if we're trying to find it out for the zero order, it's just going to be these values, right? Instead of x, it's going to be a. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just get rid of all these a's, and maybe we'll put x's, just to kind of keep it consistent. And then if I have to, you know, if I have to do that, I got to change these, right? Okay. X, X, and X. All right. So how do we plug this in into a calculator? Well, if you have the TI-84, it's as simple as pi. What we're going to do is we're going to press the stat button. And you're going to press edit. Boop. Now, I already have uh, points from another problem. Uh, which I will delete because that's not this question. But uh, if you if you probably start, you know, brand new with just nothing for L1s and nothing for L2s. But if you did need to erase, you just press the delete button. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all my time values in from start to finish. So I'm just going to run down and we're going to say, okay, the first one was 5.0, enter. Beautiful. Don't get too worried about, you know, that they cut off the... 0, I mean, 0 0.0 is the same number as just 5, right? So we do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. I think the mailman is having probably a hard time. But what, do, what am I going to do, right? We got to do this video. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to plug in L2s. So we're going to say, which, which is the concentration, right? And maybe I'll just say down here that the time is L1 and the concentration is L2. L just means list. All right, so let's go back up and let's do this. So 0 0.0, 0 0.099, 0, enter. 
point zero four nine seven whoop seven enter point zero three three two enter point zero two four nine enter point zero two zero zero enter we're almost there point zero one six six enter point zero one four three enter and then the last one point zero one two five enter okay so now we just have to make sure that our stat plot is turned on. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to second stat plot. So you press second Y. Now, the plot that we're going to turn on is the first one, right? Yours might say off. So if it does say off and you want to turn it on, all you have to do is press enter. And this would show that it was off. All you go is over to the left and turn it on. Make sure that you have this uh, line because we want to see the straight line. And we have our X as L1, our Y was L2, which is all good. And then you could change your different marks and you could change the color. Um, so let's see. Magenta, that looks good to me. And now we just want to see the graph. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to zoom and then number nine, zoom stat. Oh boy. Is this a straight line? Absolutely not, right? I mean, technically, here's a, a linear line. The whole thing should be linear, but no and no. So for right now, we know that our uh, rate law, right, or our order is not zero order. So this goes bye-bye. So now we move on to the second one. Maybe it's a first order reaction. And if it is the first order reaction, we just have to change our Y axis. The time is still going to be L1, but now our LN is going to be the L2. So all we have to do is just go in and change our Y axes to make sure that all of these is now LN, which means that we just have to do the natural log of this number, the natural log of this number, the natural log of this number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we go back to our stat, we press the stat button, we go to edit, and we're just going to change our L2s. I'm just going to write over them. And it's probably just easier to just write them over. So I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to say LN of 0 0.099. And I mean, you can add the zero if you want, but it's the same. And then enter. Great thing is that it will, you know, do the math for you. So you just plug in the function and it, you know, inputs the number, outputs the number. So LN of 0 0.0497. Okay, LN of 0 0.0332, LN of 0 0.0249, you get it guys, 0 0.02, right, yeah, 0 0.02, LN of 0 0.0166, LN of 0 0.0143, and then the last one is LN of 0 0.0125, Okay, stat plot is already turned on, so all we have to do is press zoom and number nine. Oh boy. Well, once again, not a linear line, right? This is a linear line. Oh boy, what do I do? There we go. And it's not linear all throughout. It tails out in the beginning and at the end. So we could say bye-bye to first order, which means that, I mean... It should be second order. But we're always going to just, you know, figure that out. The time is still L1, so we don't have to change that. But for your, your y-axis, it's a different list because now it's 1 over your concentrations. So now we just have to do 1 divided by 0 0.099, 1 divided by 0 0.0497, 1 divided by this. So we go all the way back, we press stat, edit, and now we change them again. So I'll say 1 divided by 0 0.099, press enter, the number changed. 1 divided by 0 0.0497, press enter. 1 divided by 0 0.0332, 1 divided by 0 0.0249, 1 divided by... 0 0.02, 1 divided by, 
Where am I? Oh, yeah. Point one zero zero six six. One divided by uh, point zero one four three. One divided by point zero one two five. Cool. All right. Let's see. Stat plots are ready to turn on, so we go zoom nine. Ah, there it is. There's our linear line. We found it. Okay, so now we definitely know that this is second order. Which means that this is raised to the second. So it did match the coefficient, but just know that it didn't have to. But now we need to also find out the rate constant. Now just know that if you're doing it from a graph, your rate constant is always coming from the slope. And if you're a second order reaction, the slope is going to equal the k value. So all we have to do is just find out that slope. Slope formula for a linear line going all the way back to, uh, I guess algebra, yeah. Uh, we'll say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We just need to pick two points that are on the linear line, but as you can see, I mean, they're all basically part of it. So if you want to take the first one and the last one, you could take these two, you could take these two, it does not matter. Maybe I'll take the first and the last. And we'll say, okay, this down here, this over here. What is that point? Remember that any point is x comma y. I'm just going to go grab those numbers because, remember, it's 1 over x. So I'm just going to go to stat, edit, and look at those numbers. Now, for both x values, for the first one, it was 5.0. And this, the last x value was 40. Now, we just need the y values. So the first y value was that 10... 0 0.101, and the last one was clear, clear cut 80. If you wanted to do 50 and 80, that's fine as well. So, you know, pick and, you know, mix and match. You can choose different ones and see if your slope, your rate constant matches mine. So now let's do maybe, you know, the, the last one minus the first one. So 80 minus 10.101 divided by 40.0 minus 5.0. Slope is going to equal 40.0 minus 5 is 35.0. And then now I'm just going to quit this out and I'm just going to say 80 minus 10.101. And we get 69. 0.899. Now we're ready to divide and we can get our slope. This value divided by 35. Seems like maybe three sig figs, I guess. Um, does it really matter? No. Maybe I'll say 2.00 or 2.0. And now the slope is the k value, so our rate constant, k equals 2.00. But the units of k are always going to be dependent on the overall reaction. If you have a second order reaction, which is what we have here, the units of k will always be, if you're using molarity, it will be molarity to the negative 1, which is the same thing as 1 over molarity, or liters over moles, and then it's just your time to the minus 1. So this would be 2.0 molarity minus 1. And since they gave us the time in seconds, this would be seconds to the minus 1. And that is the final answer. So we know that this is second order. Beautiful. And then we found the rate, rate constant, which is 2. Cool beans. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, and that's literally because of you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and I'm, I'm so glad that this channel is reaching you wherever you are in the world and that this channel can help you in your, in your studies. Um, that's all that my brother really wanted to do. We want to help you guys 
uh, because, you know, we believe that learning should be fun and you should learn at your own pace. So use these videos, go as fast or as slow as, as you need to go to make your experience, your learning experience truly catered to you. So I hope you're doing well out there and just, just keep learning. All right. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.